Next spin, scorpion combo. Because I love coin flips and I love catching things behind my back and I love scorpions and I love you. So here's a tutorial that combines them all. All right, time for the breakdown. So the first part is the neck spin, which is actually just a coin flip like this, but your head's inside it. So starting with the hoop in your right hand with a really loose grip so the hoop can actually swivel in your hand. Swoop the hoop down in front of you and up towards the side of your neck. I actually release the hoop just before the hoop makes contact with my neck and is vertical. And I give it a flick with my thumb as I release it to give the hoop lots of momentum so it can make its way all the way around my neck. Can we pause for a moment and see how calm I am? Just because there's a hoop flying around your head does not mean you have to make the freak out face. So carrying on. As the hoop spins around my neck, my left hand is reaching behind my back towards my right side as I twist my torso to the left. As I continue to twist, the hoop will fall down my back and magically into my left hand, which is already waiting palm up for the hoop to make contact. Once you catch the hoop, it's going to want to flop towards the ground, but by continuing to turn to the left, the hoop will have enough momentum to stay flat. Okay, time for the scorpion bit, which I think would qualify as the tricky part, but you can also watch me go into lots of detail and troubleshooting and rare footage of me actually speaking to the camera at this link right here. And it's shot on location in Bali. So maintaining a loose grip, which allows you to reach the hoop further around your body, toss the hoop to an outstretched left leg. Note that I am moving my leg as I catch the hoop. This minimizes bounce and also keeps the momentum of the hoop going. Keep your legs straight as you swing it out to your side and only then begin to bend your knee, keeping your foot flexed as this keeps the hoop from flying off your foot. Now, as for this crazy position I'm in, I use the momentum of my leg going backwards to tip the rest of my body upside down. One of the most important parts is that the top of my head is pointing towards the ground. If you keep your head up to watch the hoop, your shoulders won't be low enough to come up from underneath the hoop and you will probably hit yourself in the face. As the hoop continues behind you, bring your heel towards your right hip and use your peripheral vision to aim your right arm up and through the middle of the hoop, pointing your toe to release the hoop onto your arm. Resist the urge to grab the hoop and instead let your arm lead the way for the rest of your body as you stand up into the middle of the hoop. As soon as any part of your torso makes contact with the hoop, push, 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 because you will need every little bit of momentum to keep the hoop spinning. Oh my gosh, you did it. And now we're going to watch from the backside. And the most important part from this angle is actually going to be the scorpion bit. Time for a freeze frame! All right, so you can see my eyes. My eyes are looking at the inside of the hula hoop and my head is pointing at the ground. This gives me lots of room to get in underneath the hoop. Having my head down also helps my foot stay high. So if you can't seem to get under the hula hoop or keeps clocking you on the outside of the shoulder, now you know why and you have been warned. And while you're working on the scorpion version of this trick, there's also other variations on this catch you could do a fancy waist wrap. Or how about a weird roll thing? Or the possibilities are possibly endless. I love this move. I hope you love this move. Let me know how you do, what you come up with. Make a video, take me in it. Find me on Instagram with Babs Robinson or message me on Facebook for Skype lessons. Let's have hula hoop fun, yay!